What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing my thoughts and predictions on the 2019 WWE Money in the Bank pay-per-view. I honestly am pretty excited. There is a lot of matches and it seems like it could be promising. Of course, in my opinion, some of the matches could have been a little bit better and done differently, but I'm pretty excited to see what is going to happen at Money in the Bank. Since there's a lot of matches, I'm just going to try to get right into it right now. As always, I have the matches right in front of me, so let's get started. Up first, we have the WWE Cruiserweight Championship match. The champion, Tony Nese versus Davari. If you ask me, months and months ago, these two here were not in contendership for the championship. We're honestly not given too many opportunities, but to me, it's about time that they're getting pushed, and I like to see this happen, honestly, whenever it comes to the Cruiserweight division, because for a long time, for me, it felt like it was going to cave, it felt like it was going to flop, but Tony Nese won the Cruiserweight Championship at WrestleMania of all places. So going against Davari, I think Davari in the future will have an opportunity and win the championship, but as of right now, I think it's too soon for Tony Nese to lose the championship. I don't think they're going to do that to him right now because, of course, winning it at WrestleMania, why wait till the next pay-per-view to have him lose? Maybe the one after that. Depends on who he's facing, but for this prediction right here, just on the fact that I don't think they're going to have Tony Nese lose it right away, my opinion is, my prediction is going to be Tony Nese is going to win this match. That's my final prediction. Devary in the future will get opportunities and hopefully get an opportunity and win the championship, but I don't think it's going to happen right now. Next is the United States Championship match. Current champion Samoa Joe versus Rey Mysterio. This one here, in my opinion, is another repeat. Rey Mysterio lost to Samoa Joe for the United States Championship really quick at WrestleMania. I didn't expect that to happen, but something tells me this match at Money in the Bank is going to be a lot better and hopefully a little bit longer. Honestly, though, for a championship that was a SmackDown championship and it got transitioned over to Raw whenever Samoa Joe got drafted to Raw... Rey Mysterio got drafted from SmackDown to Raw. In my opinion, this match honestly should be somebody who was already on Raw going against Samoa Joe. Not having a repeat from two people that were in almost a rivalry whenever they're on SmackDown to have it continue now that they're on Raw. I don't agree with, but for this match here, since it is a repeat, something tells me that Rey Mysterio is going to win the United States Championship. That's honestly going to be my final prediction. I see the match going a little bit longer. I see Dominic maybe will be involved in the match, and hopefully it happens because I have a strong feeling it's going to, and I think that'd be epic to have him be the reason Rey Mysterio wins maybe. But honestly, if Samoa Joe loses the United States Championship, I honestly see him going for the Universal Championship and getting opportunities leading up to SummerSlam. That's my prediction right now. Next is Roman Reigns versus Elias. We've seen what happened on SmackDown. Both these guys came and they're now on SmackDown. But with the new rule Vince McMahon did, Roman Reigns is appearing on both SmackDown and Raw at times. So to me, I don't agree with it. I think that's a really crappy rule. If you want superstars to be both on SmackDown and Raw, just make them both on SmackDown and Raw. You don't have to do this where it's a random person every week. Uh, three people from SmackDown can compete on Raw and three people from Raw can compete on SmackDown. I don't like that rule. But for this match here, even though I'm getting behind Elias right now, I feel it's going to go in the favor of Roman Reigns because it's Roman Reigns. He looks to be a heel right now and Elias seems to be face. The fans love him, even though Elias is heel technically. But uh, the fans are starting to love Elias and the fans always hated Roman Reigns. So I honestly see it going to Roman Reigns though. Next is the SmackDown Women's Championship match, Becky Lynch versus Charlotte. Becky Lynch is actually defending both titles at this pay-per-view, but separately in two separate matches, which I was not expecting. Honestly, if it wasn't for Charlotte facing Becky Lynch for the SmackDown Women's Championship, if it was somebody else on the SmackDown roster, my prediction would have been that they were to win, because in my opinion, now that Becky Lynch is on Raw, she shouldn't be holding the SmackDown Women's Championship, that's my honest opinion. I feel that the SmackDown women should be given more opportunities, and to have the championship for somebody that is on SmackDown right now is a great idea. But the fact that it's Charlotte once again, it seems like Charlotte is just getting handout after handout, championship match after championship match, and I'm honestly tired of it, and extremely bored with it. As you can tell, I'm not a fan of Charlotte. But because she is facing Charlotte, my prediction for this match is going to be simple. Becky Lynch is going to win. I would have rather to see her lose the championship and only hold the Raw championship. But going against Charlotte, I don't want to see Charlotte hold another title. 
So that's my final prediction for this match. Next is the Miz versus Shane McMahon. This is going to be a steel cage match, which I'm excited for. It's very interesting. The fact that a SmackDown rivalry, now that The Miz is part of Raw, and Shane McMahon, of course, is part of the McMahon family, which transitions and is on Raw and SmackDown now, that the fact that they have a rivalry from SmackDown continuing over on Raw, I don't know how I feel about that, but more so, I would have predicted a better match, and I think it could have made a better match. I think, honestly, The Miz could have been part of the Money in the Bank ladder match this year, and... This would have added more fuel to the fire if Shane McMahon was the reason that The Miz did not win the briefcase, and then that would add more attention to the rivalry and make it a little bit more epic. But to just have them face each other in a steel cage match, I'm not too excited with it, even though it is a steel cage match. Anything could happen, and maybe that will change my mind. Maybe something awesome will happen in this match, but my final prediction is going to be The Miz. I think it's time. The fans are getting behind him. I love him right now. He's doing great things. And I see championship opportunities for him in the future. But he just has to get past Shane McMahon right now. And I think now it's the time for him to win. Next, so that's my final prediction. I just wanted to mention that. Next is the Raw Women's Championship match. Becky Lynch versus Lacey Evans. Lacey Evans just came up from uh, NXT not too long ago. I like that she's getting opportunities. But I don't think it's her time to win the title yet. Becky Lynch, like I said already for the SmackDown Women's Championship match, I would rather her see and only hold the Raw Women's Championship and lose the SmackDown Women's Championship, but since she's facing Charlotte, I think Becky Lynch is going to win the SmackDown Women's Championship. But facing Lacey Evans, I also think that Becky Lynch is going to retain the Raw Women's Championship. So, final prediction is Becky Lynch is going to walk out of Money in the Bank with both the SmackDown Women's and the Raw Women's. The fact that she's facing two people in two separate matches if the Raw Women's Championship is first, if Becky Lynch was facing somebody else, I would have predicted she would lose the second match for the SmackDown, but that's just not the case. So final prediction is Becky Lynch. Next is the Women's Money in the Bank ladder match. We have Naomi, Natalia, Dana Brooke, which got a lot of heat whenever she was announced for this match. Alexa Bliss, Bailey, Ember Moon, Carmella, and Mandy Rose. So right off the bat for me, even though I'm a fan of Alexa Bliss and I love her, but Honestly, because her and Carmella won the briefcase before, I don't see, since the woman's briefcase is so new to WWE, I don't see them having a repeat and having somebody who's already won it win it again, at least not yet. So to me, those two are out. Mandy Rose is out. Dana Brooke is out. Nat Natalia would be interesting because, in my opinion, she's a legend. Naomi would be interesting. But my choices are going to be for Bailey and Ember Moon. Those are my final predictions. Bailey, because for right now, Sasha Banks, her status with WWE is unknown. I think if they give Bailey an opportunity for the SmackDown Women's Championship by winning the Money in the Bank, I think that'd be great for her solo career now that she's on SmackDown. And Ember Moon, because in my opinion, whenever she was on Raw, she didn't really give much of a push. So winning the Money in the Bank briefcase would be epic for her career and really prove herself for SmackDown now that she's on SmackDown. So those are my final predictions for that match. Next is the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. We have Ricochet, Braun Strowman, Baron Corbin, Drew McIntyre, the Intercontinental Champion Finn Balor, Ali, Randy Orton, and Andrade. Again, the same with the women's match. The ones who've won it in the past are Randy Orton, Braun Strowman, and Baron Corbin. So I honestly don't see a repeat happening with those three right now. And the reason for that is there's so many talented guys on the main roster right now. Guys that are just coming up from NXT. Guys that are dominating. So I don't see they're going to have a repeat this year. Finn Balor is the Intercontinental Champion. And it would be epic for him to have the Money in the Bank briefcase as well. And to possibly cash it in and hold both the Intercontinental and Universal Championships. Having both titles because of Money in the Bank would be epic. And that would be a great addition to his uh, already awesome resume with WWE. But I just don't see WWE having a Money in the Bank and Intercontinental Champion as the Money in the Bank winner. I just don't see it happening. Ali, to have a Cruiserweight win it would be epic, especially since he got taken out of the Elimination Chamber match due to injury. I just don't see it happening. If it does, I'm on board with it. But if it doesn't, that's what I predict. Andre Ed, I don't think it's his time yet. I think, if anything, the Intercontinental Championship in his future, but not the Money in the Bank briefcase. So that leaves my predictions. Drew McIntyre, who's been dominating, I'm a fan of him now more than ever, and I can't wait to see what he does, especially if he wins the Money in the Bank briefcase. I think that will say a lot for him right there. 
And of course, Ricochet, who I honestly felt he should have done more in NXT and they should have pushed him more. But the fact that he's on the main roster, I can't wait to see what he's going to do. And I'm honestly really excited to see that. So my prediction is either Ricochet or Drew McIntyre to win the Money in the Bank briefcase. That'd be pretty ep epic. If Drew McIntyre wins, my prediction is that he's going to cash it in relatively soon. If Ricochet wins, I think he's going to hold on to it a couple months. At least after SummerSlam, maybe going into Survivor Series. That's my prediction right there, but those are my two predictions for Money in the Bank uh, ladder match. And the last two matches, the first one, WWE Championship match, Kofi Kingston versus Kevin Owens. This is one that I honestly wanted to see at WrestleMania. I wanted to see a triple threat match, Kofi Kingston, Kevin Owens, and Daniel Bryan. That did not happen, but Kofi Kingston versus Kevin Owens, that's going to be pretty epic. I'm a fan of Kofi Kingston, especially that he actually got an opportunity for the WWE Championship and actually won it. I'm really proud of him, and that's awesome. Somebody that's watched him since he started in WWE, to see that finally happen for him was amazing. Kevin Owens, I've been a fan of him, and now that he has returned, I'm really excited to see what he does. But I don't think Kofi Kingston is going to lose yet. I think, if anything, if a Money in the Bank, if a SmackDown superstar wins Money in the Bank, that's going to be how Kofi Kingston loses the match, or loses the championship, sorry. But Kevin Owens is definitely going to get an opportunity in the future. This isn't going to be the last time he gets a WWE Championship match. I think he might be the reason that Kofi Kingston loses, but I don't think it's going to happen at Money in the Bank. My final prediction is Kofi Kingston is going to retain, but I also feel that Kevin Owens is going to help in the future and possibly get a shot in the future and win the championship and beat Kofi Kingston in the future for the championship. That would be pretty epic. And the last match is Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles. This is one that I assumed was going to happen whenever Seth Rollins won the Universal Championship and AJ Styles got drafted from SmackDown to Raw. This match here, Seth Rollins won it, beat Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania. I honestly don't think it's time for him to drop the title against AJ Styles. If AJ Styles were to win it, that would be awesome for him in my opinion. I just don't see it happening yet. My prediction for AJ Styles is closer to SummerSlam, he might get an opportunity, and closer to SummerSlam, he might win the Universal Championship. I would be on board with that 100%. But now that Seth Rollins is the champion, I don't want him to lose yet. If it was Brock Lesnar who was the Universal Champion going into this match and was facing AJ Styles for it, I would pick AJ Styles all day long. But the fact that Seth Rollins beat Brock Lesnar, it's Seth Rollins versus AJ Styles. I don't see Seth Rollins losing anytime soon. I'm a huge fan of both these guys. I think that AJ Styles is going to win closer to SummerSlam, but I think Seth Rollins is going to be retaining for this match and is going to walk out of Money in the Bank with the Universal Championship. However, the last two matches, whoever wins the men's Money in the Bank briefcase match, in my opinion, it'd be very interesting to see if they were to cash in the same night, because we haven't seen that, I don't think, since Kane won the Money in the Bank years ago. So that'd be pretty awesome if it was to happen, and possibly if it was on Kofi Kingston, Kofi Kingston could win the championship back and be a two-time WWE champion, or Seth Rollins could be a two-time Universal champion if it happens, I don't know. That's just a theory of mine that I think could happen. But these are my predictions for the WWE Money in the Bank 2019 pay-per-view. Comment down below what your predictions are for the pay-per-view. I really want to see what you guys think. But I also want to mention the reason I do videos for my predictions is typing it out and just saying who my prediction is. That's one thing you guys get to see on paper or typed out who I think is going to win. But by me making a video, I get to explain that and share it with you. So it's more in-depth and it's not just... Rey Mysterio is going to beat Samoa Joe. It's me explaining why I feel like it's going to happen and how I see it happening. So hope you guys do enjoy my video predictions for the pay-per-views, but I am going to leave this video here. Please take care. Peace.